Render is officially the biggest AI altcoin on the market right now after rallying 2,600% from its bear market lows at 40 cents, currently sitting up here at $10.90, and I do believe this run is set to continue. Now, this follows the Render Network CEO, Jules Erbach, who did recently speak at the NVIDIA GTC conference, which had a ton of institutional interest, and while we await the incoming news that was revealed at this conference, we have actually seen the Render Network sign on two more AI clients who will be using their decentralized GPU power. So in today's episode of the Everything Crypto Show, we are going to break down these two recent partnerships as well as what impact this may have on the Render token. Now before we hop into the content, just a friendly reminder that I am not a financial advisor. I am simply here for your crypto news and entertainment purposes. And if you do find the videos informative and or entertaining, please consider hitting that sub and like button and turn that notification bell on so you can be notified when all of our latest videos go live on the channel. So we know that the NVIDIA GTC conference did take place over this past week. NVIDIA has been the biggest story in the stock market for the past year and a half, and rightfully so, as this company has really benefited from the AI boom. You know, if you consider the fact that in October of 2022, this was a $120 stock, and it currently trades at $942, that is not a small feat at all with a market cap of 2.36 trillion. Trillion. So it is not an, an exaggeration to say that hundreds of billions to trillions of dollars have flown into this company. And uh, the AI hype is real. I do think that this is still set to be pretty much the biggest narrative of the bull run, one that Render is set to capitalize on the best, in my opinion. And uh, we actually know that Jules Erbach spoke at the NVIDIA conference. Unfortunately, it was not live streamed, so we don't know exactly what was said. However, we do know that they are preparing a recap with key highlights for early next week, followed by the recording when it's made available. And of course, I will break down all of the key news events from this uh, from from the Jules Erbach live talk in a future video, whenever that does uh, whenever that does release to the public. Now, I do also want to take a quick second to shout out another AI play of ours, and that is LimeWire. So I tweeted yesterday that uh, my AI altcoins for this upcoming bull run is Render Network and LimeWire. LimeWire here comes in with a market cap of 42.5 million. And if you compare that to Render's over $4 billion market cap, I mean, I think that this project has a lot of room to grow. And this thing is already up over 10x from its bottom in August of 2023 at about six and a half cents. They have just completed their fifth lime wire burn and they've already brought the supply down from one million, sorry, from one billion tokens down to 773 million. So they've already burned, you know, about 25% of the total supply for this token. The token does have utility as the actual, uh, it sort of powers the lime wire platform, which offers AI image generation, AI audio creation, and they have AI video generation coming soon as well you can stake your limewire token as well for a passive income through the uh through the platform there and additionally they are planning to create a decentralized gpu infrastructure fleet very similar to what the render network has so you know with a, with a market cap under 100 mil i do think this is an undervalued token and i have planned accordingly with my portfolio so definitely keeping an eye on this project and uh yeah we're gonna get right back into the render news so we saw this tweet come out on March 21st. The initial community vote for RNP009 at Prime Intellect and uh, RNP10 exabits compute client is officially closed. Both were voted in favor of actually having them come on board as compute, cl as compute clients with over 90% in favor. Um, yeah, so we're going to take a look at the two GitHub posts as well. This is a fake account right here. There is no render staking launch pad, so please be wary of that. The biggest way to kind of book that is that this has a circle icon and 23.2K followers. The official account has the yellow check mark, 175K followers, and the square, the square image. So just be careful out there because there are a lot of scammers on Twitter and really everywhere, but this is uh, very clearly a fake account. So RNP009 
<clears throat> this is going to be the last double O, uh, the last double O proposal that we actually have. So no more James Bond style. And um, th this proposal advocates for the onboarding of the Prime Intellect Compute platform as a new compute client within the render network. The goal of Prime Intellect is to commoditize AI compute and intelligence to advance scientific progress and human flourishing. To achieve this, they aggregate all GPU supply from decentralized and centralized clouds and surpass, surpass limitations of traditional computing infrastructure using distributed low communication training approaches to offer multi-node training on demand across more effective providers and spot instances. So on the AI model side, they are crafting a novel and sustainable funding model for open source AI, making models and data licenses investable with compute by integrating the render network prime intellect is seeking to maximize utilization rates of idling compute resources of render nodes and the revenue by plugging them into the marketplace so let's actually go ahead and take a look at the render uh the render network over here <clears throat> And yeah, they're basically looking to tap in to Render's distributed GPU rendering platform. Uh, basically, this is a blockchain marketplace for idle GPU compute that was initially used for 3D content creation for spatial rendering tasks. And what the Render Network has done has very quickly shifted into also offering this idle GPU compute for machine learning models for artificial intelligence and... Uh, I mean, that's a, that's a huge total addressable market right there. I think the one big takeaway that we've heard from NVIDIA time and time again is that the demand is not an issue. There is exponential demand for AI. The actual supply of the GPU power is the issue at the moment, and that's something that they are looking to solve. So, you know, with that decentralized GPU fleet, it's a big deal, right? And you know, we can see here that 009 for Prime Intellect, they are looking to tap in to the render networks and nodes. The nodes is the idle GPU compute that is offering or being offered to the network currently sitting at over 5,600 nodes available. Now, the second client is Exabits with the swiftly evolving sphere of technological innovation and in, in artificial intelligence and media. GPUs are the base hardware for transforming how we experience digital content. As the boundaries of innovation are continuously challenged, the demand for GPUs has risen exponentially, exposing the market's inefficiencies, adversely affecting costs and accessibility for an indispensable component driving this era. So Exabits is a decentralized cloud computing network is introducing middleware that accelerates and optimizes GPUs and various layers of the compute stack to alleviate the inefficiencies in the market for complex compute workloads. And then we have Render, a decentralized GPU uh, marketplace servicing rendering media workloads, which they are basically looking to integrate with. So uh, the Render Network proposal aims to leverage the expertise and network of both ecosystems by increasing utilization of idle GPUs in the Render Network by integrating it with the Exabits Network. So a very, very big move here for the Render Network as we are basically you know, witnessing exponential growth in the demand for GPUs with supplies being the real bottleneck. And yeah, Render is really looking to address this problem. I think that they are they're positioned very well in, in the middle of two big narratives, right? We have crypto, which we know has been on fire as of late. And then we have AI, basically the two biggest stories in the market at the moment. Render sits in between both of these narratives. And I think when you kind of factor that in, it's no wonder that this coin has been such a solid performer from that bear market bottom. Now, additionally, I do want to also highlight that these two proposals that just passed actually follow an announcement we saw last week that Render did partner up with Stability AI, one of the biggest AI companies in the world, to develop next, gen a next generation AI models, IP rights systems, and open standards powered by decentralized GPU computing. Now, to, to kind of factor in, you know, exactly how big is this Stability AI partnership? Well, their, uh, their platform, Stable Diffusion, let's actually go to the Stability AI website. 
So here's Stability AI. And uh, Stable Diffusion accounts for 12 billion of the 15 billion images generated by AI last year, beating out Adobe, Midjourney, and OpenAI's DALI 2. So we can see here that Stable Diffusion had 12.59 bill AI image AI images generated, uh, Adobe 1 billion, Midjourney 964 mil, DALI 2 916 mil. So you know, stable diffusion here is is the clear winner, and where they're not going up against slouches, right? Like they're not going up against companies that you never heard of. This is versus Adobe versus OpenAI and Midjourney, some of the biggest AI companies out there. Some of the names you commonly hear in the media, and uh, yeah, they are working with the Render Network now and utilizing their idle GPU power as well. So really big deal there for the Render Network that they are getting this exposure via different partnerships. And the chart definitely does, uh, it does kind of follow along with the story of the render network, right? I mean, we have this crazy performance here up 2,600% from the bear market lows. And uh, that's actually after, you know, a 30% decline that we saw in the, the altcoin from that $13 level, more or less. We did see this thing pull back about 25%. It has bounced back from then. And uh, at its peak, it was actually up more like 3,300% from that bear market low. Now, you know, we started covering Render last year on the channel, and then more recently, again, I was really looking at Render when it was in and around this level right here, okay? We got rejected here, which honestly, you can see is a pretty big area of resistance if we go back to the previous bull run, or actually, this would be the bear market, right? The bull run, we sliced through it like butter. We broke back below it, tried to break above it here during the bear market year, could not, and then boom, this thing fell from $5.40 all the way down to $0.40. Cents. So, you know, breaking back above this level would be a very big deal for the price action. That is what we said on the channel. I was basically saying that if we get above $5.30, there is no resistance for this token back up to previous all-time highs, and I thought it would be a very quick move back up to those levels. And you can see that since we did actually break above that, you know, five dollar and 30 cent range it really has been an up only mode we sliced through that all-time high like butter made a new all-time high coming in at about 13 dollars and 80 cents and we have now pulled back but once again for some perspective we are still well above all-time highs here and uh you know crypto does have a way of kind of faking people out of kind of weaning weak hands out of projects and i'm not saying this could happen what i am saying is that we could even see a scenario where Render wants to pull back again and backtest that previous all-time high and then make its way back up to the upside. And over a longer term, that would be an incredibly bullish outlook for the altcoin. In the shorter term, though, it definitely would shake out the weak hands. Now, I personally don't think this is likely. I'm just saying that if I saw Render drop back down to single digits from here, make its way back to $8.80 and $9, uh, I would not be... I, I would see it as bullish. That's my point. I would I would see that as a bullish move. And if we continue upwards, obviously, I still see that as bullish as well. So either way, I do think this altcoin is in a really good spot at the moment. And I do think that it is going to be set to continue to just be one of the biggest winners of the bull run. You know, generally speaking, I think that that all coins that show strength early on in bull runs do tend to continue being winners. Winners keep winning in uh, these kind of markets. And I do think that Render is you know, definitely uh, a prime example of that. So keeping my eye on this all coin. And as always, I will keep you guys updated on all of the latest and most important news that does drop with the Render Network. The next thing I am waiting for is that NVIDIA GTC conference to be officially, uh, officially revealed. And then I will have an update for you guys on what was said there so on that note i hope you did enjoy the content in today's video i hope you are all staying happy safe and healthy and i hope to catch you in the next one peace out for now